And he just picked the wrong examples such as Amritpal Singh? Certainly not. Certainly not. And I think uh, here, like you said, trying to walk a very thin line, Mr. Chaudhary, uh, in trying to defend absolutely the indefensible. I mean, there is only one statement here. The Congress should come forth and say, we condemn that statement. We side from it. And we are taking so-and-so action against Mr. Channi. Let's tell, let me tell you, the Congress, it is, and it is not something Channi is doing, and Channi is used to doing it. Please remember, when the elections were on and the Poonch incident happened, and we lost a brave heart, at that time, Mr. Channi came forth and said, it is stunt bazi. That is the mindset of Mr. Channi and of Congress. And Congress has this habit of playing with Punjab. I personally am a sufferer here. I lost my father to yes. that. And it pains us that Congress for its small gains wants to do this to our state. But let me tell Congress and let me tell the people, the viewers through your channel, the fabric of Punjab, the fabric of the Hindus and Sikhs is not so weak. We are intertwined. My bhabi is of Sikhni. We are intertwined anywhere in any religion. You tell me, is it possible that a Muslim household would say, take my eldest child and make him a Hindu? But that is the way the Hindus and Sikhs are. And no amount of nefarious designs of Congress as they have shown today. And this is catering to some masters okay. somewhere. Let's talk it then, Dr. Not, Tayal. It is not an innocent Let's talk religion. then, Dr. Tayal, about the nefarious designs of the... Dr. Tayal, let's then talk about the nefarious designs of the BJP IT cell. The fact still remains, there have been several incidents to malign or look at Punjab, prominent Punjabi Sikh people ever since the farmer protest happened to look them as oh, Khalistani sympathizers, pro-Khalistanis. If Dilji Dosan says something, he's a Khalistani sympathizer. If he's seen, if he introduces himself as someone from Punjab and not India, he's looked at as a, as a criminal. When Arshdeep Singh does not perform well in a cricket match, he's taunted and trolled with taunts of Gaddar. If, and the Entire response coming in from Deep Sidhu and the likes was that this is the more the BJP or the people of the Saffron Party push the narrative of a Hindu state, Hindu Rashtra, the more there will be a pushback for a Sikh state. Can the BJP really say with its hands on its heart that it has had nothing to do, none of its policies, none of its attacks have backfired and have resulted in this? Uh, is a Newtonian third law of motion in terms of a response of the rise of Khalistani sentiment, something which had not been seen in the state? in the country for a long time and before 2014. Panshu, let me make it very clear. I think there is deep non-understanding of Punjab and BJP both. Nowhere, nowhere, and I challenge this, anywhere if there can be any statement mm. that can prove that the BJP has ever looked at the six as separate from Hindus. So to say that BJP has ceded something anti-Sikh could not be farther from truth. Like I said earlier, and I don't, I, I would ideally not want to repeat it, but my father died fighting for the Hindu-Sikh unity. Okay. And as, a, as the president of the Punjab BJP, so to say that at any stage, BJP thinks of these two as separate, for as far as BJP is concerned, there is nothing which is to separate Hindus and Sikhs. And I have said this earlier also. So it is a complete, you know, uh, okay. misunderstanding of entire Punjab and misunderstanding of the BJP. BJP has given its blood to this okay. uh, soil. So for that unity and for the integrity of the country. And today, that is, in any case, is not the issue. The issue is somebody on the floor of the parliament actually, I think, out of being a fresh parliamentarian, he has let the cat out of the bag. The secret of the Congress has been let out, the nefarious designs, where they are catering to somebody outside the country, possibly some masters who, have, who are inimical to India. That is what is happening. They want to burn Punjab for the sake of their votes. And who are they accusing? Just a question, who are they accusing? Just one question, Dipancho. Who, who, who is it that has imposed the NSA okay. on Amritpal? Their bad partner, Aam Aadmi Party. 
their indi alliance partner aam aadmi party Who well we get the aam aadmi party in at this point we will get the aam aadmi party because i genuinely don't believe the aam aadmi party can wash its hands off the matter as well but for that i also want to get in okay ravi shivastav ji want to you want to come in at this point let's talk about the aam aadmi party's role in this entire thing what happened with the rise of amritpal singh can it not be put down purely to the failure of the aam aadmi party to maintain law and order if for months after months in the years of 21 and 2022 we were seeing a a massive and an alarming increase in law and order incidents there were rockets fired at the police station i still it can can it befuddles my mind to even think of it as a rocket is fired at the police station an entire mob can lay siege to ajmela what happened at the police station and free some of uh, amritpal's goons at this point is the aam aadmi party government not complicit in allowing the situation to worsen in punjab and then putting the nsa on amritpal singh and then having its own india ally saying the oh, it's emergency ho gaya uh ritangshu at the outset first of all let me uh, admire you for asking some difficult questions to the uh, bjp uh, spokesperson which you did not respond that how they uh, branded the uh, sick uh, mo- that moment of the farmers as a khalistani moment and all that now second thing let me tell you as far as bhagwant man is concerned he is competent mm. enough and he has done a lot in restoring the law and order in uh, punjab those uh, cases you are telling of the rocket firing on the police station all that happening right when he had taken the charge some two and a half years before but now he has taken the grip of the situation and it was he only who could nab amritpal singh in punjab after attacking the police station after getting his men released from the uh, for by taking his supporters and all that it is he only who could arrest amritpal singh now as far as amrit pal singh is concerned now once election commission has erred i think the law should be changed but they have allowed it now let me tell you one more a case you are asking about a, who was the mp who was talking with the separatists yes mr simranjit singh man elected from punjab itself and he was the person who had given the ch- tv channel interview in punjab and said that he was issuing the letters recommending people to go to canada he no. was openly uh, making such statements he was a open khalistan supporter and he remained in the parliament for number of years so let's bjp or anybody for that matter government cannot keep its eyes closed no i i am not sure i agree with the, i'm not sure i agree with the concept of the law should change to bar people See the I see the problem of the election of Amrit Pal Singh is not the problem. The problem is the twenty lakh people have supported Amrit Pal Singh. Now you can't say, and I I'd like to get in. Uh